Welcome to the WealthManagement.com Fast Chat. I'm bridging the gap between wirehouses and independents. I'm Maureen Wilkie with Wilkie & Associates. And joining me today is Claire Kiesel, National Branch Manager for Linsco by LPL Financial. One of the biggest challenges for financial advisors considering a move away from the wirehouses or regionals is the loss of support and benefits. Today, Claire and I will be discussing current trends to reduce this barrier for advisors and how firms are providing options that maintain important benefits and services. Claire brings an in-depth background in working with financial advisors, and she will share insights on how firms like hers are rising to meet the movement. Claire, thank you for joining us. And I understand that Linsco is LPL's Financial's new W-2 employee model. Now, LPL has always been known for independence. So does this new model conflict with that at all? Yeah, and thank you so much for having me today, Maureen. So back to your question, um, not at all. LPL has really evolved from being an independent broker dealer to a true wealth management firm. And we believe that it's important that we meet advisors where they are in the life cycle of their business. A little bit of context there. So around 80,000 advisors are operating in an employee model today. And when those advisors choose to go to a new firm, 70 to 80% of the time, they're choosing another employee model. So although that we know that advisors are increasingly dissatisfied with an employee model, they're still going to an employee model. So in order to provide a more balanced solution for these advisors, we introduced a model that's built on LPL's principles of independence, but still preserves the key aspects of an employee model that are important to advisors. And that's what we're calling Linsco. It sounds like a great balance and very um, relevant for today's advisors. Um, we know more than 75% of the advisors who responded to a recent pop-up poll were not familiar with LPL's new employee advisor model called Linsco. Um, can you share an overview for those who might not be aware of it and a little more light on what sets this apart from other programs that are out there? Yeah, absolutely. So as I mentioned before, the reality is that many advisors like the concept of independence, but worry about leaving behind that stability and support that an employee model provides. So what we wanted to do with Linsco is build a model that grants advisors more autonomy, more control over their business, and provide them a higher payout without having them sacrifice working with a market leading organization. And what I really mean by that is advisors have the freedom to manage and grow their relationships and their business as they see fit within the Linsco model, but they don't have to do it all on their own. They still have an experienced branch manager team that's there and their sole responsibility is to support these advisors as the advisors see fit. So we allow the advisors to determine that partnership arrangement and not the other way around. Also, we've over-indexed on support in different ways that we know that are important for advisors. So a few examples there are our admin to advisor coverage ratios are a lot higher than they are at, at, other, at other firms. Also, we provide on-site experience transition team support when an advisor is transitioning. And finally, they get a dedicated marketing consultant and an experienced service experience team that is not a call center, but a group of operations professionals that are dedicated to the model. And what I like to say is the cherry on top is that our advisors earn highly competitive compensation and benefits. Their grid rate ranges from 50 to 70% in this model. And we know that advisors are growing tired of the consistent comp plan changes at their existing employee firms. So what we did is we lock in that grid for the life of the deal for advisors who choose to join Linsco. You've provided a lot of benefits to this program and why advisors should be considering it. What about for an advisor who is already in an employee model, whether it's at a wirehouse or in a regional or an independent, 
what would make them want to move to Linsco? Great question. Um, so what we're finding is advisors are choosing to join Linsco because these advisors can finally run the wealth management practice that they've always envisioned on running for their clients. And I really break that into three key differentiators. So first, our advisors own the client relationships. It's written in their contract, and we know that this is highly important to them. In fact, in that pop poll that you mentioned, it is over 50% of respondents actually said that this is the top factor to consider when choosing a new firm. Second, Linsco advisors are not only free to establish their own brand, they're given a dedicated marketing consultant to help them develop this brand. And this brand will be at the first and forefront for those client relationships. And third, when it comes to managing their own practice, we trust our advisors to call the shots of whatever is in the best interest of their clients. So we really view our role is to keep the advisor at the center, just like they're keeping their clients at the center of their relationships as well. Those are all really three important areas to advisors, especially the one on owning the clients. And I could see how that would be extremely appealing to a lot of advisors. Um, could you tell me a little bit more though about at the center, because we hear it all the time that advisors want their clients to be at the center. Can you give a little more um, how they'll be at the center with Linsco versus uh, some of the other firms? Yes, definitely. So I think that there was a point that we all remember were in this industry, the advisors were at the center. Um, but other firms have seemed to forgotten that the advisor is the most important part of the business from a client's perspective. At LPL, we live and breathe that every single day. Our mission is to take care of our advisors so that they can take care of their clients. And that's really what I meant by at the center. It's great. And this new model sounds fantastic and very timely and relevant. So I'm sure a lot of advisors who are listening to this right now are probably going to ask the same question I'm asking. And that's that geographically speaking, will this model be available throughout the United States? Yes, absolutely. So today we have offices in Florida and Louisiana, and over the next 30 days or so, we'll be opening two new locations with phenomenal anchor tenant teams in their respective cities. We're also proactively opening up offices in other markets, including Dallas, Boston, Chicago, and San Diego, to name a few. We are also seeing the demand for permanent remote work. In fact, our second advisor who joined this year has a permanent remote work relationship. So we're ready to support that as well. So it's been a really exciting and busy time, but we truly feel that if we stick with our vision of keeping the advisors at the center, we'll become the employee model of choice for these advisors. It sounds great. And at the center and permanent remote work like that is so timely right now. And it just shows how forward thinking this program is. So I'm really excited to have the chance to talk to you about this today, Claire, learn more about it and share this with our financial advisors. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Claire, for joining us. And you'll see right on, um, on our, our page here, you have a link to learn more about Linsco by LPL. Um, have a great day, everybody.